All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Math Lesson 97. Time for something a little bit different. Today, we're talking about ratios. And ratios are a way to compare two numbers using division. They look like fractions, but they're essentially using a division bar. And when you take a look at a ratio here, this would be pronounced 3 to 4, not 3 fourths if it's a ratio. And you're going to name the numerator first, then the denominator, 3 to 4. And when we start setting up ratios and story problems, the number you name first is going to become very important. So you can reduce ratios like fractions. If I had a ratio 9 to 12, I could still divide both the numerator and the denominator by 3 and get it reduced down to a ratio of 3 to 4. But you can't simplify ratios to mixed numbers. Since a ratio is not really a fraction, if the numerator is larger than the denominator, leave it that way. If you had a ratio that started out 11 to 9, you don't want to simplify it and make it 1 and 2 ninths. Because it's a comparison of two numbers, leave the ratio as 11 to 9. The only time we're going to leave something where the numerator is larger than the denominator is with a ratio. So let's jump right into it and take a look at some of these problems they're going to throw at us today. There's 12 boys and 18 girls in the class. What is the ratio of girls to boys? You take a look at how they have it set up. They want the girls first. So I set it up this way. I just wrote girls to boys. So how many girls do I have? Looks to me like I have 18 girls, right? So I'm going to start off with 18 as my numerator because they want the ratio to be girls to boys. And then let's take a look. How many boys do we have in the class? There are 12 boys in the class, right? So I can put 12 down here because, again, they want the ratio to be girls to boys. But I can reduce. I can't simplify into a mixed number, but I can go and reduce both sides. And it looks to me like the greatest common factor here would be 6, right? So I could go and divide both sides by 6. 18 divided by 6 is going to be 3. 12 divided by 6 is going to give us a denominator of 2. So my final ratio, I'm going to leave it set up as 3 to 2. I don't want to go and change this into 1 and a half. So let's try it over here again. What would be the ratio of boys to girls? Well, boys they're asking first of all, so we're going to put boys first, this time in the numerator position, and we'll put girls in the denominator position. So I have a starting ratio of 12 to 18. Again, I can reduce it, right? I'm going to divide both sides here by 6. And then numerator divided by numerator. 12 divided by 6 is 2. Denominator divided by denominator. 18 divided by 6 is Three, so I have a finishing ratio, this time, of 2 to 3. Now, if you're really on top of your game, you would have realized these numbers didn't change at all. I could have just inverted this ratio. Instead of saying 3 to 2, if I'm inverting my starting numbers, it's going to end up 2 to 3. All right, let's try another one here. There were 15 blue socks and 25 red socks in the drawer. What is the ratio of blue socks to red socks? They're asking first. So blue socks is on top as the numerator. 
Red Sox is down on the bottom. So let's take a look. What do we know? Looks right here. We have 15 blue socks. So 15 is going to be on the top. And 25 red socks. So 25 would be the denominator down on the bottom. So right now, we're starting off with a ratio of 15 to 25. So we can go and reduce ratios. So I'm going to go and divide both sides here by 5 since they both end in 5. That's the tip off that we can go and divide by 5 on each one of them. So 15 divided by 5, that's going to give us 3. 25 divided by 5, hey, that's going to give us 5 for a final ratio of 3 to 5. So now if they're going to go and reverse the question, what's the ratio of red socks to blue socks? Yeah, I could set it up 25 over 15 and divide both sides by 5, but we talked about there. Let's just go and invert our final ratio. Instead of 3 to 5, if they inverted the order of the socks, I'm going to say it's 5 to 3, right? Not too tough so far. Let's take a look at one more. There are 30 cats and 15 dogs at the vet's office. What's the ratio of cats two dogs. They have cats first and then dogs. So looks to me like I have 30 cats. So 30 is going to be my numerator up on top of this ratio and 15 dogs, right? So I'm going to have 15 for a denominator down at the bottom. So right now my ratio says 30 to 15. Let's go ahead and what can I divide into both 30 and 15? Well, you could go ahead and use 5, but that's not going to be the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor is actually 15, and it's not going to show up on any multiplication chart, so you're really going to have to think about this one. 30 divided by 15, that is 2. 15 divided by 15, that's 1. So you have a final ratio of 2 to 1. You're not going to call it just 2, remember, because this is a ratio. So if you're really on top of your game, if they invert the order of dogs to cats now, I can go and still use these numbers instead of writing a ratio of 2 to 1. It turns out that if they want the ratio to be dogs to cats, it's a ratio of 1 to 2. Looks like 1 half, but you really pronounce it 1 to 2. And that, my friends, is the end. You're going to want a piece of scratch paper for the Socrative quiz, and good luck.